Hey, Elise Pickett here with the Urban Harvest, and today I am going to show you how I filled these raised beds without having to use all of my precious compost. Quality compost is considered black gold for many home gardeners. It takes a lot of time and effort and energy to make a good quality compost. And I took about nine yards worth of materials in three months of time to get about three yards worth of really high quality compost. But for me to fill that entire bed, I'd be using a significant amount of my compost. And when I have 11 beds to fill, that's not exactly feasible. My compost won't stretch that far. So what I'm going to do is use a layer method to maximize my compost usage, give the plants the nutrients they need in the short term, and build the rest of the bed so that eventually the rest of it will turn into quality compost as well. I decided to do a kind of modified permaculture approach I'm taking the concept of lasagna gardening or sheet mulching um, where you're layering in different materials to create a quality soil and I'm doing it in the bed but I don't want to wait for all of that material to break down um, which can take up to a year depending on the size of materials you use, the depth of the soil and whatnot. Basically what I'm going to do is start those layers down below since these containers are three feet deep. And then I'm gonna put quality compost up top so that I get the short-term effects for growing vegetables this season, while the rest of it's slowly decomposing and turning into quality soil. The first of those layers is going to be small twigs and branches um, that we used from tree trimming around the yard and fallen branches during the storms. So I went ahead and layered those in the bottom of this container, um, just enough to cover it. These do take the longest to break down, but they absolutely turn into wonderful, um, rich hummusy soil. Um, if you've ever come across a rotted log and stepped on it and it kind of fell apart and was that like awesome brown, earthy looking material, that's what this will eventually become. But it does take time. The new house that I just bought has some awesome built-in planters around the perimeter of the home, uh, just shy of 400 square feet of growing space, which is awesome. But the soil in it is pretty poor, um, very weedy, lots and lots of weed, and not very nutri uh, nutrient dense. So I do intend on using this as a growing space. But for me to try to beat the weeds and add nutrients and everything like that, working with the soil that's here would take some time. So what I decided to do was take some of that soil out of the built-in containers around the home and use it as fill in my large raised beds. This soil had a ton of weeds all around the house. So just because I'm gonna put it into this raised bed a foot or so down, from the surface doesn't mean those weeds couldn't potentially creep and grow right on through my compost and other layers. So what I'm going to do now is use a traditional sheet mulch approach. So I have my soil in there now. Next I'm going to add several thick layers of newspaper. You can also use cardboard. It doesn't fit as well in the circular so I'm going to go with newspaper but if I'm doing a yard or anything like that cardboard's always a much easier route. So I'm going to go ahead and layer in uh, the newspaper. You want all of the edges to overlap each other by at least two to three inches minimum. That just makes sure none of the weeds creep through the newspaper. And this just temporarily keeps the weeds at bay until all of the seed dies out. Clearly I have a fairly large scale project going on with renovating or turning the entire front yard into a garden. Um, I got a delivery from Chip Drop, uh, which delivers mulch chips from local landscape companies 
who are looking to dispose of their mulch, they actually deliver it to your house for free. The trick is it can be a lot of mulch. So if you have any sort of small scale project, probably not your best choice, but the city of St. Pete does give away free mulch. Um, and if you don't have a car or a truck to transport it in, you can pay a small delivery fee and they bring it to your house for you. This mulch layer is really important for helping keeping would-be weeds out of the garden bed. And this is a traditional sheet mulching technique. So what I did was I had the soil, which potentially has weeds, grasses, and other things in it. I put the newspaper on top of it. And now we put a six to 12, 12 inches ideal um, layer of mulch on top of that. And that's what really chokes out the weeds and makes sure nothing creeps through to the compost and growing portion of the bed that I'll be using. Next layer is going to be coffee grounds. I've been working with Kawa. I dropped off a few buckets at one of their branches and they fill them up with their cold brew coffee bags of fresh coffee grounds. And if you haven't heard of using coffee grounds in your garden before, um, they're a fantastic source of nitrogen for the garden, but they're not so hot that they burn plant roots. So you can add them directly into your soil as a soil amendment or as a layer in a bed that you're about to plant without risking the nitrogen burning the plants. I filled up two of the three feet in this bed with materials other than my compost. So that's a tremendous savings in terms of how far my compost goes. The last 12 inches of this bed will be pure quality, nutrient dense compost so that my plants are super happy and super well fed. Last but not least, the final layer is my compost, which I have spent the last three months growing, making, whatever you want to call it, um, but it has resulted in amazingly rich quality soil. So it all starts with the soil. If you do one thing in your garden, it should be building quality soil, whether that be by compost or soil amendments if, if you don't have compost available. But if you do anything, make sure it's building good soil. There you have it. I just filled my three foot by three foot uh, raised beds with just one wheelbarrow full of compost and the rest materials I've collected from around the home or from local businesses. Pretty awesome stuff. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button so you're alerted every time a new video comes out. And I look forward to growing with you.